It started as a routine investigation. Two young siblings in western North Carolina had tested positive for lead poisoning in June. Alan Honeycutt, a longtime environmental health specialist with the state's Department of Health and Human Services, was doggedly trying to find the source. He had ruled out the usual suspects in and around the children's home, old paint, contaminated water or tainted soil, yet the children's lead levels continued to climb. What he eventually found, that the two siblings had eaten contaminated pouches of cinnamon applesauce, sparked an international investigation by the Food and Drug Administration and a massive national recall of cinnamon applesauce pouches manufactured by an Ecuador-based company, Ostrofood and sold under the brand names Juana Bana, Schnucks and Weiss. Dozens of other children around the country are believed to have been poisoned. A Washington Post investigation has found the number of children affected as likely higher than official counts. As of December 5, the FDA said it has received reports of 64 children under age 6 who have suffered adverse events linked to the tainted cinnamon applesauce pouches. But state health and environment officials have told the Post they are investigating at least 118 confirmed or suspected cases in 31 states believed to be linked to the popular applesauce snacks. To determine the extent of the exposure, the Post contacted officials in 50 states and the District of Columbia, and received responses from all but Kansas. The discrepancy in case counts is probably because of differences in how suspected and confirmed cases are reported at the state and federal level. The FDA said its count is based on self-reported information submitted by health care providers, consumers and some state partners. In some cases, parents of children with elevated lead levels don't have old applesauce pouches to test, but they have reported that their children had eaten the snacks in recent months. As the investigation has expanded, experts have grown alarmed at the potential level of lead in the pouches, some of which have tested at more than 500 times acceptable thresholds, according to North Carolina health officials. Parents of exposed children told investigators that the applesauce pouches were a favorite treat, and some children reportedly consumed three, four or even as many as six pouches a day. Investigators say they expect case counts to continue to rise in the coming weeks as more children get their blood tested and state health investigators revisit unsolved lead poisoning cases. The recall has renewed questions about whether the FDA is doing enough to regulate toxic metals in baby and toddler foods. In 2021, Two congressional reports found that many popular food products made for babies and toddlers contain significant levels of lead, arsenic, cadmium and mercury. Yet an action plan to establish voluntary limits by April 2024 appears to have stalled.